What's up guys and welcome to this tutorial uh, on the 2019 AP Maths exam. Um, I've done some of these questions and in this uh, video we're going to focus on the last question. Okay, so this question really has to do with integration um, and your understanding of some of the integration and your equations. Okay, so it says consider the diagram before or below. Um, the equation f of x is given as ax squared. The area bounded by the function f on the x-axis, so that is the shaded area, okay? Um, and so the area between x equals 0 and x equals b is 160 over 3 units. When this area is rotated around the x-axis, the resulting volume is 100 or 1280 um, pi units cubed. Determine the value of a and b. Okay, so we start off with an, an area and then we also have a volume. Okay, so basically we need two equations because we have two unknowns. Okay, so this is question 12. So we're going to start off by looking at the area. Um, area. Okay, so the area is going to be equal to, okay, so the area is going to be equal to my integral. So the integral of ax squared dx from the point 0 to b is going to be equal to the area that I've been given, uh, which is equal to 160,3 units. Okay, so let's deal with the integration. So if we integrate this, this is going to be ax cubed divided by 3, and that's from 0 to b, is going to be equal to 160 over 3. So what I can do is substitute b in, so that's ab cubed divided by 3 minus basically 0, so I'm going to leave that out, is equal to 160 over 3. Therefore, a b cubed is equal to 160. Okay, and that is going to be our first equation. Okay, the second thing we're going to do is deal with the volume. Okay, so if we look up the equation on our equation sheet, our volume is equal to pi times the integral from, I think it's defined as a to b of my f of x dx. Okay, so in this case, we're going to have our volume is equal to pi times the integral from 0 to b because we're starting at the origin. So this is basically our a is equal to 0 um, of ax, um, ax squared once again. Sorry, and this is squared. ax squared, and we're going to square that. dx is equal to and it's given as 1 to 8 o pi pi okay so I can actually start off by dividing by pi so that goes away so basically my integral um, becomes the integral from 0 Okay, so the second thing we have to deal with, 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 1, 2, 3. Okay, so the second thing we have to deal with is our volume. Okay, so if we go and look at our formula sheet, we can see that the volume is given as pi times the integral from a to b of f of x um, squared dx. Okay, so in this case, it's going to be equal to pi times the integral from 0 to b, because we're going from 0 um, to b, so 0, a, a is equal to 0, basically. So from 0 to b of ax squared all squared dx is equal to, and it's given as 1 to 8 0 pi, 1 to 8 uh, pi. Okay, so we can start off by dividing by pi on both sides. So we're left with the integral from 0 to b of a squared x to the 4 dx is equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. 
Okay, now we just need to integrate. So a squared is a constant, so I'll leave it as a squared x to the 5 over 5 from 0 to b is equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. Oh. So now we just need to substitute in, so we're left with a squared b to the power of 5 over 5 minus, when you substitute 0, everything goes away, so it's equal to 0. So I'm going to leave that out, is equal to 1, 2, 8, 0. Oh. Okay, so what I'm going to do is multiply by 5, so I get a squared b to the 5 is equal to 1, 2, 8, 0 oh, times 5, which is 6,400. Okay, and this is going to be my equation 2. So I've got two equations, two unknowns. So the easiest thing, or the, the most obvious way I see, is to take um, equation 1, and I'm going to square it, and then divide by equation 2. Okay, so what does that look like? So I'm going to square equation 1. So this is basically equal to a squared b to the 6, which is equal to 160 squared, um, uh, 160, uh, 160 squared, which is 256 double O, is divided by a squared b to the 5 is equal to 6400. Okay, and I'm going to divide them. So when I divide them, the a's are going to, so basically I'm dividing this, Okay, so the a's are, a's are going to cancel each other, so I'm left with b is equal to 2560 divided by 6400, which is equal to 4. Okay, so b is equal to 4. Now I just need to pick one of my equations. Let's pick equation 1 and substitute b in. So I'm left with a times 4 cubed is equal to 160. So a is equal to 160 divided by 4 cubed, which is 5 over 2. Okay, so those are our answers. Okay, another way uh, you could have done this, okay, this is pretty much the easiest way, otherwise we could have let a be the subject of the formula here, so a equals 160 over b cubed. Okay, let's do this in a different color. Purple. Okay, and then substituted that into there, because then we have uh, only b. Um, yeah, and solved it like that. Okay, let's just walk through the logic here. Basically, we were given what the area is. We were given what the volume is. So what we did is we found the integral for the area, um, and we got one equation. Then we found uh, the equation of the volume. Uh, this was from our formula sheet. This equation up here is directly from the formula sheet. And then we got a second equation. Then we had two unknowns and two equations for which we could solve. Um, we did that by squaring the first equation and dividing it by the second equation, and then we got a value for b. Using the value of b, we got the value for a. Okay, so not too difficult, and we got 14 marks, which is quite a lot, considering the entire test is out of um, 200. Yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found it useful.